we just heard about their wine and beer festival, but Rockbridge County is also gearing up for their annual regional fair with contests, livestock events, live music, and more. Yeah, and joining us to talk about more, uh, we have Megan Sheets here, and you are with the uh, 4-H Youth Development, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, Very cool. Thank you so much for coming. Thank so you. tell us a little bit about the event that's coming up and what people can expect. All right, so starting on Thursday, our regional fair will be in Lexington at the Virginia Horse Center. Um, we have a field trip planned for the Rockbridge County second graders in the morning that will kind of be my thing. And then starting um, at four o'clock, kind of the fair will open. So the fair is open okay. from four to 10 on Thursday and two to 10 on Friday and Saturday. Okay, Okay. so what pe what can people expect when they attend? There's a little something for everybody. Okay. So um, everything from our 4-H livestock barns, we have some heritage livestock that'll be coming in, some non-traditional type things. And um, we've got music um, on Friday and Saturday nights. We have a fairway with lots of inflatables for the kids tons of food, um, just a little something for everybody there. Okay, yeah, I want to talk about the fairway. Okay. Um, what's on there, and it's for kids, right? Correct. What can people expect on the fairway? So, inflatables. So, inflatables, as far as you can see, <laughs> is kind of... you need to say. <laughs> exactly, that's our plan. <laughs> yeah. So, we have um, a mechanical bull. We've got some competition-like inflatables. We have a ton of different stuff and, and really something for everybody. Mm -hmm. There will be five-year-olds and 50-year-olds um, on there together. So. <laughs> Yeah, okay, excited. so let's talk about the competitions for the animals. Sure. What can we so, expect with that? So, as the 4-H agent, I've been working with my livestock kids um, all year. Kids coming from respective clubs, they'll have beef cattle, dairy cattle, lambs, goats, hogs, chickens, and then I've got some little bitty ones that are five to eight years old that are going to be showing all those things too, just a much smaller version. Oh, so that's we're cool. really excited. Yeah. yeah. Excited and then you also that. have raffles going on? Yes, so we've got our fair share raffle. The grand prize for that is actually a zero turn lawnmower. Um, and there are 16 other awesome prizes, um, stuff around Lexington and places were really kind and donated a lot of stuff to us. So mm -hmm. those tickets are $10 a piece. They can be purchased now um, through Saturday night at the fair and all of the, of the winners will be chosen on Saturday night. And what about the awesome. workshops that you have? Yeah, we have some different workshops with local community groups. Our master gardeners are coming in to do a few things. Um, there's some demonstrations that'll be going on in the barns. Um, just a lot of neat stuff happening. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then, of course, music? Yes. So one that's near and dear to my heart, on Saturday night at 7 o'clock, we're going to have Tim Elliott, who is an up-and-coming country star. Really excited about that. And the neat part about his concert, half of the proceeds are going directly to the Rockbridge County 4-H program. Wow. So really, really excited about that. That yes. is wonderful. All right, so where can we go for more information? Sure. Um, RockbridgeRegionalFair.org okay. has all of our information about times and everything that's going on. Um, Pre-sale tickets for Tim Elliott through tomorrow are $7 and then $10 the day of the show. The fair is free entry, so we encourage folks know. to come out um, and come in and check it out. Megan, thank you so yeah, much yeah, for thanks. being here and telling Certainly. us all about it. We appreciate it. Yes. All right, come